Tony does a terrific job at North Alabama. Um, you know, they came in uh, a couple years ago, and, and uh, boy, it was I think it was it was 23-22 at one time, and it was probably only about a five-point game at half. Um, they shoot the three really well um, as a team, and um, you know they've already gone on the road, beat Air Force on the road, so they've got a, a, a good road win. Um, they, uh, um, Jakari Lane is a, a terrific scoring guard. He's got about 19 points a game. He's got great range. He's really slippery. He's, you know, um, their point guard probably, probably their best player. Um, and uh, Daniel Ortiz transferred from UAB. He was he had a, a really good year at UAB. Another guard that can could score at you know a number of different levels. Uh, they, they they're deep. They play about 11 guys. Uh, interestingly, they, they average over 12 and a half, 13 steals a game. So they get after you defensively, um, and they don't turn the ball over. Uh, they take really good care of the basketball. They get good ball screen stuff and. Uh, because they've got good, quick guards that can really handle it, they're they're hard to. Uh, it's hard to get to speed them up um, faster than we'd like to. We'd like to try to play a little faster, but uh, the uh, the stuff they run and the personnel allows them to, to control tempo. All right, uh, yes, Bruce. What's the status of Jakai and Jaheem uh, for this Monday's game? They're, they're, they'll be at their practice today. Bruce, you guys didn't have didn't have a letdown, you know, after that big win against Houston, got another game here before y'all go to Maui and that, that tough field. Just what's been the key for these guys to just, you know, keep that uh, that effort and that intensity up for no matter who's on the other side? Yeah, I, I think there's enough new players in that locker room that are having their first experience um, that they're still so excited about playing because this is just their fourth game. And so that helps. Um, and then I think that, um, you know, if we had any letdown last year, uh, it might have been at Appalachian State. And um, that was one of the few times in the last several years, I think, where we've gotten beat when we were, uh, when we were supposed to win the game. Even though it was at Appalachian State, we're supposed to win that game. And um, I think the returning guys recognize that. I think the last thing would be you got, I've got some seniors that are counting the they're counting the games down. Every every home game they play, it's one less game than they're ever going to play at Neville Arena. Um, and we're you know we're trying to we're trying to get better. I think it it, it just rarely happens to us because we respect we respect our opponents, and uh, it happens to us less um, because we have we do have good respect for our opponents. And we and and you know I know like even last week. Um, we prepared. We, we prepared based on the number of days we had prior to Vermont, harder and longer than we prepared for Houston. We played for Vermont on Wednesday. We we went at Houston Thursday. We traveled Friday and we played Saturday. So we we if if, if you didn't prepare that way, you know, like right now this week, we're not doing anything for Maui in a week from now. We're preparing for North Alabama all week all weekend. Bruce, were you at all surprised by the playmaking ability of, of Tahad at that point guard position, his ability to pass, dribble, drive, do some things? No, because he's I mean, he played plenty of point guard in high school. Um, my again, my thinking originally bringing him a freshman in is all right. Which spot is he going to be the most effective? And and you know, since he's such a scoring point guard, I just thought that that would be the best place to to start him and let him let him play as a freshman that way. The, 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 the problem is he's too good with the ball in his hands to not have him be able to play point. The biggest challenge for, for Tahad is they are two different positions. If you play the two and the three, they're about the same position. You play the one and the two, they're different. And so he's got to be in a different place every single play call. And that's hard. And so his, he's got a, a little bit of a good just got Man, he's got a lot. He's got to be in there a lot of rotations to know what we're doing. And you know, and and and, and you know, sometimes it's that can be really challenging for a freshman. All right, last one. You mentioned with you know North Alabama, they've been turning the ball over much. You know, like to control the tempo. It was similar to Vermont, but obviously you got that lot of success.
success there. I guess what kind of is the key to you know speeding a team like that up and kind of playing at your own pace? You know, you have to be able to win at a fast pace, and you have to be able to win at a slower pace. And quite frankly, if we if we overcook it and 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 just go too aggressively, we actually make them better. So sometimes we you know you just gotta you know put our same defensive pressure uh, that we that we apply and. If, it, if it's hurting us, back it off a little bit. Um, but it's really hard to make a smaller, faster, quicker team go faster than they want to go. Okay, thanks, Coach. Okay, guys, thanks.